gladiators, they don't quit. They don't give up. They die. They call it a beautiful death. My uncle Pat used to tell me, it's the easiest thing in life is to use to quit. No matter how hard things are, you never quit, you never give up. This shit's serious, man. This ain't no joke to me. This is my life. Help has come from a life of hell. And I mean a life of hell. A kid on the estate had nothing, absolutely nothing. It was tough growing up, man, because no one doesn't understand. I'm 18, 19, I was like a bit shy. I was too ashamed to ask my Uncle P if there's some money. But he'd go mad at me though, he'd go mad at me. I remember one day I bought him this Nike tracksuit and he lived in that same one. Yeah, I used to always have my blue tracksuit, man. Blue Nike one, that was like my lucky thing, man. He was always messing about with boxing and but never took it serious and went into football then. He was absolutely good at football as well. He was absolutely really good at football. People didn't have the same desire as me. So I used to like get upset when he used to get beat. I used to cry, literally I used to cry like, because I wanted to win so bad. But I thought, you know what? I prefer to do boxing because it's down on me then. From there, I just said to my Uncle Peter, like, yo, I thought I'd be a boxer or not. He's like, are you sure? You'd only know if you're a state kid what a state kids do. We've all had the same opportunities. We've all done the same stuff. We all played the same games. But I just got my opportunity and ran with it. The obstacles that were put there, we've all been through. I just chose not to be a part of it. And that's why people respect me. I just believed in I will become somebody one day. I will make something of my life. You don't know what could be around the corner. You don't know what could happen. My brother was the guy, was the man. Whatever it was, he had it. Call my brother, my cousin, John's my cousin. I used to live with him. It's Christmas Eve, so it's like, I gotta go to his fashion show. I was like, all right, sweet. We just got um, internet, so I'm playing FIFA online. I got a phone call from my mum, I think. I just didn't think nothing of it. Oh, I got stabbed. You tough, right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and then we got a call on, Boxing day, saying we need to go to hospital, we need to have a, make a decision or whatever, I don't know. So obviously I went to the hospital and then I seen him die, you get me? It can make you or break you. I could have just went to a different side of life then and thought, you know what? But I just thought, you know, I need boxing. If I didn't have boxing, I just, I don't know where I would be. I'm not incriminating nobody, but you know, my uncle changed his life from what a guy he used to be. To be quite honest with you, I was in jail when he first boxed in. I missed his first amateur fight. And we said, not really had that uncle nephew relationship because he's been my coach. I found it very hard to be an uncle. As being his trainer, as, as I've told him before, it's like I've had to totally just rip it apart and say, he's not my nephew, he's a boxer. If Zelf had really done my heading, i show him the door tomorrow. Mine and Pat's career and our lives are so similar that like you couldn't even write it. He lost his mum, I lost my mum. He won the European Championship, I won the European Championship. He boxed for the world title, I boxed for the world title. What he puts into me is just don't make the mistakes that he made. That's why he's the way he is with me. My Uncle Mike's just as important as my Uncle Pat. You know what I mean? He's just like yin and yang. Like he's just so cool, he's from that era. So music hero. My Uncle Mike would talk to me, never shouted at me. He made me as an athlete. My mindset, it'd be rude for me not to say my Uncle Mike's not as important as my Uncle Pat. The both is important because they've been father figures in my life. A mother's love is what you need. We fight with the chest infection. So she's just like, Mom, what's up with you, man? And then, obviously, found out she had cancer. That was like a quick turnover. Two weeks later, she just died. Her last breath was in my arm. Oh, God bless her soul. I always know that every time we fight, the sun's shining. And I always say that's his mum smiling. If I had a chance to speak to mum again, I won't even speak. I'd just hug her. So for however, however long 
I could hug her for. I couldn't tell you how much I love her. This is one of them feelings where you can't explain, I couldn't say. So I just, I just take as much time as I can just to hold on, touch her. I ain't gonna do nothing daft or rational, but in that ring, I'm prepared to die. Because the boxing means that much to me. And, you know, I'll be next to my mum. So, you will do me a favour. I just want to be world champion because then nobody can't take nothing away from me. No one can't say anything. Like, I done it. From my parade, a kid of the estate, become a world champion. I just want to be known as a good fighter. I don't want to be known as anything else.